Hey everyone, welcome back to New Jang City. I've got just a fairly brief update to share with you this time with some plans for what I'm going to do with my Minecraft world. Finally, this is going to be expanded for what should be the final, I think the final expansion of space for it. I uh, changed the tables that these were sitting on. They're just on very short table bases with no legs underneath quite some time ago. And when I did that, it provided all of this extra space. I ended up having all this left over over here on, on the side. And I had not done anything with that uh, except use it just as overflow, overflow storage space. So this week I went ahead and cleared that out and started to do some planning for this. I just wanted to share my ideas for where I'm going to take this. Uh, first of all, of course, I need to smooth things out with the area that was basically cut off. You know, it's like the edge of a chunk there, and then it didn't render past that. So I need to continue the rendering over. And I don't want to use too much of this space over here for for tall uh, tall terrain for the, the new space. So this here, with the grass on top, is going to get smoothed down to the ground fairly quickly. But I do need to leave this gap here in the center to where you'll be able to look down in there you know I, I have that open space so i want i want to be able to to look down in there even once this is completed once this is extended over into the next chunk so the the tall hill over there on that side of the basically it's a ravine will be turned into the to a proper side of a hill i don't know if it'll be like an extreme hill but uh, it should have a bit of a cliff here because I don't plan to build too much on it in terms of player built structures or anything if anything maybe some small outposts or outlook up there but I basically want to bring that bring most of this back down to fairly level ground and then just over on this side in this corner back there uh, in that corner I'll have another hill that'll probably come up to about this level so maybe a third height or something like that and I want to I want to turn most of this space over here into savanna. I fell in love with the look of the savanna biome and some of the things that, that it offers up. The first, uh, first time that I settled into a savanna biome on a, a realm with some friends. And yeah, I just figured that's something that I've not done up to this point and uh, something that I had I have now actually experienced. Uh, so, you know, just bring it into the the Lego world and I am going to bring in a little bit of water here to have a suggestion of the edge of an ocean so that I can use the official dolphin build from Lego and also the sea turtle build and just you know show a little bit of interaction with the edge of a of an, an ocean you know a proper ocean out here little little suggestions of, of bits of, of update aquatic you know which is very well established now is, is is nothing new anymore, but it will be something new to my Minecraft world. And then right somewhere in the center, very, maybe in like an L shape right here, most of the the lower lower uh, plateau space here, the you know just the, the normal ground level space, will have a half generated, half player created uh, village you know, like a, a savanna biome village. So I need to figure out what color that I'm going to use to represent the acacia wood. I'm thinking, I'm thinking I might just go with, uh, with dark orange because I've already chosen the, the medium nougat to represent the color of jungle wood. So I think I'm going to go with dark orange. I could try to do something a little bit redder, but uh, I think, I think dark orange will be it. I'd love to also just off to the edge on the right hand side i don't know if it's uh, close to me or farther away probably close to me but then i'm not sure i would like to try a badlands just a little suggestion of the edge of a badlands biome or mesa you know something to bring in that that really colorful banding of the terrain but i don't know what color that i'll use for the main color because i'd love to use sand red but there's just not enough sand red in the world it's just too expensive it's a good color match but we'll see how that works out it, it would be nice to have more than one additional biome added to this space but that's that's what i'm thinking so far i have a bunch of stuff of the uh, the official stuff in a, a bin back there that's that's not really sorted out but that's that's ready to use i'm going to continue to use some of the official stuff just as i have over here for 
you know, some of the mobs, some of the, the basic builds, but a lot of it will continue to be custom, and we'll see how that works out. Definitely looking forward to that. It just gives me one more thing that I can work on when I get some additional inspiration, since I have been getting additional little spurts of inspiration. Uh, you may be wondering why I don't just go ahead and just real quick, just real quick, finish up the Planetary Defense Force base. This is because it's not real quick. It's not something that happens quickly at all, and as I've I've said many, many times, I don't want to ever force myself to do anything creative because then it's just not going to be enjoyable and it's not going to turn out so well. So I, I only work on creative stuff for the city when I feel the inspiration to do so. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the next thing that you're going to see me working on and working towards completing will be back over there in the plaza behind my first uh, skyscraper. I'm probably going to work on the little tech shop next and because I've got my building space set up for filming I will be able to capture that as a time-lapse video and share that once that is done or at least once I have a lot of progress on it so that's all I have to share with you at this time so I will keep you posted and I'll talk to you again soon